New tonight, one lawmaker says the new design for the Rhode Island license plate is a missed opportunity. Last session, lawmakers passed a bill mandating all state drivers get the new license plate next year, but we found out that new plate design won't be much different from the wave plate we see now. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo is here to explain why law one lawmaker says that's a problem. Sheena. Yeah, you're probably used to that wave on the license plate. It's a very familiar graphic for people here in Rhode Island. And one lawmaker says that's the problem. Senator Louis De Palma says if there's going to be new license plates, then they should be different. Starting June 1st, 2020, when you go to renew your vehicle registration, you'll be signing up to get a new license plate. As your registration comes up for renewal, you will fill out the paperwork. It does cost $8. It's only a $2 difference from what it was 23 years ago. Senator Louis De Palma has been working the issue for the last seven years. He was one of the sponsors of the license plate bill that passed this year. He's calling the change long overdue. So every 10 years, the DMV needs to issue a new plate, and that's in Rhode Island state law. We haven't done it for 23 years. De Palma says the new plates can help police if the new plates are different enough. So you can tell right away from a security perspective that car is registered that car is not. But before you wave goodbye to the plate you're familiar with, according to the governor's office, the new plates will closely mirror the existing ones. The governor previously had objections about the bill. De Palma says having something so similar can defeat the purpose. He's even hoping the new plates can showcase a local artist or show off local landmarks. I've talked with the governor's office. I'm hoping to schedule a meeting with them in the near future to address the issue and figure out how do we come to some resolution on this because just tweaking the wave plate doesn't achieve the goal of why we need to do this. Now, De Palma says you'll be able to keep your old plates, so no hassle there with mailing them back or anything. So we've asked the DMV multiple times if we can see pictures of the new possible prototypes for the new plates, but so far they aren't releasing them. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.